My name is Kyle Ferguson. I'm a senior lecturer at um, Ulster University in the School of Sport. Um, I'm a course director for the BSc Honours in Football Coaching and Business Management. We've incorporated performance analysis across our Masters in Sports Coaching and Performance, as well as our undergraduate um, sports coaching course and the Football Coaching and Business degree. And really what we're trying to achieve with performance analysis is twofold. Looking at the coach um, analyst, as well as the analyst who would inform the coach. So to ensure that those who want to be coaches have the information and the data to inform their coaching sessions, as well as those who want to specialise potentially in being an analyst, that they know what software is available, how they introduce the software, how they use it, how they get the best out of it, and how they can manipulate the data to help the coach do their job later. Well, performance sports are very flexible, easy to use. We can hand the iPad to the students and within 20 minutes they're eagerly tagging away. They can understand it. We can also hand the um, iPad to the students with a game fully tagged on it and they can start to in incorporate the data or interpret the data in the videos. So it's a very good process to help them learn no matter what stage they're at. The visuals to be able to have the iPad, slow motion, playback, still images, as well as how easy it is to create the data. I think that the students really are able to go straight into it from the start, understand what we're trying to achieve and then very quickly come up to speed with it. When a student starts off, they, they have an idea of what analysis is, they've seen it before, it's getting them straight in hands on, putting on a game for them, letting them tag a game, finding out for themselves what works, what doesn't work and I think Performa allows them to do that very well. So for example this morning we've um, videoed a game where two teams are playing, a group of students will then be given the iPads and straight away setting up tagging templates and tagging the game. Very quickly they can understand how the system works but they can also look to feel for them and their own philosophy as a coach or their own strategies or coaching philosophies, what they would tag and what they would use the information for and it's examining that with the students in class thereafter where we say now you've done it what worked for you what would you change and how would you use that data now you have it it's not just the tv stats of how many shots there are how many tackles there are it's breaking it down to real coachable moments so when we talk about shots we talk about were they in the right place were there any other options what can they do to improve in the future either that player that team or inform their own coaching session I've been lucky enough to coach and use analysis in America, New Zealand and across the UK and Ireland and I think one of the key things is we've moved away from the money ball idea of county and we're going to count how many shots there were and we're going to count how many tackles there were and how many one-on-ones. Now we're being more subjective where was the shot in the right place, who took the shot, was there a better option, how could we use that information and the real um, key change I guess is the person who's doing the stats. They're no longer just tagging something objectively they see. They have to have a subjectivity behind it, understand the coaching rule, understand the potential use and information that they're creating and then break that down to something that's tangible that can be given to a coach or be given to a player. Coaches don't want to see an endless list on an Excel spreadsheet of data. They want to know what it means and I think that means the, the analyst now has to be a very uh, a good understanding of the game and a good understanding of the coaching that goes after the stats. What we're looking at is what is the purpose of the data? So the student has to be very clear about what they're trying to achieve, what data they're trying to find and why and how it's going to be used. And then we ask those questions, well, what did you do? How well did you do it? And did it make an impact? Did it make a change? If the data can do that, we're, we're following the right data. If the data hasn't done that and the process hasn't done that, we need to go back and uh, um, change it. So the analyst has to work very closely with the coach and the manager to make sure they have a clear purpose that the stats they're trying to find link to that purpose and then you have an outcome which is of use. In the football coaching and business um, management degree it is unique. It's something where we've incorporated options for the students. They can go and work on the pathway as a manager, as a development um, manager or in a strategic role. They could also be the coach on the pitch and then they, they can be either of those roles and with that we've incorporated a UEFA coaching badge into the modules, we've incorporated a performance analysis in and we've incorporated very much reflective practice so that no matter what we're doing they can always have this process which follows what an analyst would do, what is the purpose, 
what did we try and achieve and did we achieve it and by having that reflective practice built in off the field for those who want to end up in the boardroom as well as on the field that course gives us a good benefit to so that we know those students when they're leaving have three core graduate skills and that is they're able to stand and present themselves and make their points clearly they're able to problem solve and use data to inform that problem solving and then they're able to and use that data and critically think about what is the purpose of it and how it could be used in the future. And I think if our graduates across the football coaching and business degree are leaving with those core graduate skills, we'll have done our job right.